Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can go about making wing tips and rounding off your wings in Pro Engineer. Uh, so there's a few different ways you can go about doing this. Uh, first off, I'll just talk about the rounding. Uh, you could obviously just use the round tool and you're going to get a product that's going to look something like this where you can see the round there highlighted in red. Now it's okay, I mean it, it works. Uh, in here I didn't go very far but you can play around with it and try to go all the way. Pro Engineer is not going to like this option that much because of the different airfoil uh, curve on the top and on the bottom. Uh, if you had a symmetrical airfoil you'd have a better chance of getting this to work correctly which you can totally do at the end of your wingtip. You could substitute in a symmetrical airfoil here at the end. Uh, now the other option that you can go ahead and do uh, which is very very easy is to use a bl uh, revolve here and you can see my revolve and all I've done is let me open that up for you you can see here I have the centerline axis in red here and then the t upper curve of the airfoil like that and I'm revolving around the front to back axis here and that produces this shape you could also start from the bottom but it would look a little bit more weird if that's possible. You can say it's not ideal, but it'll work. Uh, another thing that you could do is put a wing tank, wingtip tank on the end there. Uh, like you might see here on this Learjet 35, uh, we have wingtip tanks on each side. Or if you looked at the F-104 Starfighter, you'd also see wingtip tanks that you could use to end off your wings. Uh, so for smaller jets, that's certainly a possibility. Um, in a larger jet, um, what you could do is use a rotational blend here. Uh, so let me go ahead and hit the definition of this, just so I can give you a brief idea of what I'm talking about. Now, rotational blends are complicated at best to use, uh, especially with the wingtip, when you're talking about wingtips and ending your wings, uh, just because of how you would go about doing it with rotational blend. Uh, for this, what I've been thinking about doing is dividing it up into three sections. You have two vertical and then one perpendicular section, and the perpendicular would be coming out of the screen towards you, so you wouldn't be able to see it from this view. But you'd start either at the top or the bottom. In this case, you'd, I'd just start from the top, and you'd select the uh, curve here, the upper curve, and come across. So you have your shape like that. Then you revolve 90 degrees blend through 90 degrees to a symmetrical airfoil uh, shape which would be set up perpendicular to uh, the end of the wingtip going through this axis so the axes of the two airfoils would line up you get your second section in there then you blend through another 90 degrees and you'd select the bottom of your original airfoil so you select the bottom curve and have this as your center line now, as you can imagine, that's pretty complicated. Uh, and if you wanted to make it look really nice, you'd go ahead and do that. Uh, but if you want to do a wingtip, there's a few other options here. Uh, first option is to use a rotational blend again to form the base. Um, so what I'm talking about here is just to form the part that goes from the wingtip to the bottom of your winglet that would be with rotational blend and then you'd come out with a blend for your actual wingtip. Um, that's pretty complicated because of the mathematics involved with calculating how the angle of the wing coming from the top, how the sweep angle uh, is going to go through your blend uh, and how you're going to work that out. That would take some trial and error to get right. Uh, the Another option which I've done in the past just for a really 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 simple way to do it uh, is just take a wing, wing tank like this and then just put your uh, winglet coming out of it. <laughs> doesn't look very pretty at all but it, it would work. Um, last is this little method that I've come up with. Um, it looks nice as you can tell. I mean it's not extraneous or anything like that like with the wing tank. Um, and it's very easy to do. It's just a blend and a revolve. And there's only one really complicated part about this and it's really not that complicated. 
So let's go and talk about how we're going to do this. So the first part we have here is a blend and you can see the blend on the bottom here highlighted in red and what that's doing is it's taking the bottom part of this airfoil as you can see right here it's taking the bottom down and rotating that out uh, and I picked 75 degrees here because that's a, the approximate angle that most wingtips are at about 15 degrees off of the vertical so I went ahead and accepted that and the next part is where is it uh, this sketch this sketch is the important part this is the trickiest part you could say so once you make your blend you will have this section right here that I'm clicking on um, so right here this outside curve is what you're gonna have and what you need is a full airfoil so what you can do is either line up an airfoil of your choice here uh, with the exact dimensions for the bottom curve uh, so you could take the airfoil that you use for the wing and you could put it in here um, I chose not to do that I chose to do a symmetrical airfoil here uh, just for the simplicity of it and what I did was I made a center line going through the front to back of the airfoil and I used the use tool to select the outside shape here and I used this tool right here which is the mirror tool and then what it does is it mirrors a sketch over a centerline axis so you could think of about it as setting it up for a revolve and then copying it over because it's the same way it works when you use the mirror tool you can only have a sketch identity on one side of the centerline you can't have stuff on both sides and expect both to get flipped doesn't work that way at least in previous versions when I've been playing around with it so now you have this airfoil right here and you have a symmetrical airfoil and what you can do is you can select it just by going like that and copy it and pasting it and you just notice that my mouse had the plus there you click wherever and it's just like inserting another uh, airfoil from scratch and so you can go ahead and position this wherever you like and shrink it down and that's how you can get an airfoil that looks like that so I hope this was useful and informative and I'll be posting some more videos shortly